Dr. Mindy here, and on this video, I'm coming back to the science for you guys, and I'm so excited to share a new study. It was from Baylor College of Medicine. It was done in April 2021, and what they did is they asked themselves two questions. So the first question was, are there other things that cause high blood pressure that we may not be evaluating and looking at and that needs to be addressed? And then the second question was, and if there are other factors in high blood pressure other than just diet, could intermittent fasting and different fasting strategies bring down blood pressure? So those were like the two big things they looked at. So the first thing, is they acknowledged, and I'm gonna quote the study here because their verbiage is just spot on. They acknowledge that there is emerging evidence that is suggesting that a disruption in your gut microbiome, also known as gut dysbiosis, can have an adverse effect on your blood pressure. So they dove in and they started to look at, okay, we used to think it was salt that caused high blood pressure. We used to think there's also some incredible uh, emergence of information, and this has actually been out for a while, that sugar can increase blood pressure. But what are the possibilities that it's a shift in your microbiome that's causing blood pressure to go up? So before they even looked at fasting, what they looked at were studies of fecal transplant plants, where they take, and this was all done on mice, where they take mice that had high blood pressure and, my, and a mouse that had low blood pressure and they took the feces, I know it sounds gross, but this is science, this is how you do it. They took the feces of the mouse with low blood pressure and they put it into the mouse with high blood pressure. And what they found was that the blood pressure in the, in the high blood pressure mouse went down when they got the fecal transplant from the low blood pressured mouse. So they went, oh my gosh, there's something in our microbiome that controls blood pressure. So that was encouraging onto itself and should excite you about taking amazing care of your gut bacteria. But then they went to the second version of this, which was, and the question they asked, I love the way they stated this, is can you manipulate the microbiome to bring blood pressure down? So here's what they did. They had two groups of mice. All the, the, the mice, by the way, had random blood pressures that they were looking at, but they took two groups and they said, okay, this group, no food restrictions, and then the second group is gonna do the every other day diet. Now, if you're not familiar with the every other day diet, this is another form of intermittent fasting where you eat whatever you want one day, and then one day you, you, you fast the whole day. And then the next day you eat whatever you want and then you fast. So they had these two groups. One had no food restriction, the other fasted every other day. After nine weeks, the group that fasted every other day lowered their blood pressures. The blood pressure went down. So they were, they were encouraged. They were like, okay, this is great. This type of fasting is potentially having an effect on the microbiome and that is what's bringing the blood pressure down. So they're now connecting two dots. But then they did a third thing that is incredibly impressive. Okay, I gotta interrupt this video because I have a free guide for you so you can master fasting. It's called A Beginner's Guide to a Fasting Lifestyle. And all you've gotta do is click here and you can jump right in. They took the feces from the mouse, the, the mice that fasted every other day and had a positive effect on their blood pressure, so the blood pressure came down, they took that, that fecal transplant and put it into mice with high blood pressure. And they found, sure enough, once again, that not only the fasting changed the microbiome, but when you put it into a high blood pressured mouse, that that mouse's blood pressure would go down. So, really cool, what does this all mean for you? It means that if you have high blood pressure, that yes, there's a dietary component to it that needs to be addressed, but there's also a microbiome component that needs to be addressed, and that fasting 
can be a solution to make changes in the microbiome that will help you bring your blood pressure down. You don't have to have a fecal transplant to do this. You've got to just know that fasting is making changes to the microbiome. Well, what fast do we know that, that research has shown to have the biggest effect on the microbiome is a 24-hour fast? Well, that's what they did here. They did a 24-hour fast, basically, or a version of intermittent fasting to make a change in the gut bacteria. When they made that change in the gut bacteria, they saw a positive response to the, the, uh, the blood pressure. And so now they've got another tool knowing not only is your blood pressure dramatically affected by your microbiome, but you can use fasting to change the microbiome so you can bring the blood pressure down. Make sense? Let me know if that sits with you guys because I want you to understand the science and then I want you to understand the application. Where my brain goes with this is one step further. What they're not only proving here is not just that you're gonna bring down blood pressure using fasting, but they're proving that fasting is changing the microbiome. Well, we live in a day and in, in time where there's antibiotics everything, everywhere. Antibiotics in our food, antibiotics in our hand sanitizers, in our, you know, we're eating meat with antibiotics. So our poor gut bacteria has been destroyed and it is causing a lot of different problems. So yes, we now know it's causing uh, high blood pressure. We also know it causes you to gain weight and we know that it reduces neurotransmitters that keep you healthy and happy. And now because of this study, we are starting to get more evidence that intermittent fasting, 24 hour fasting, building a fasting lifestyle will absolutely change your microbiome and will have a dramatic effect on your overall health, not just blood pressure. So I love this study. I am so excited to share it with you. Uh, let me know if you have been fasting and you've seen your blood pressure come down. Please put it in the comments so our community can see it. If this is new to you, if you've never even really kind of grasped the microbiome and you've never even thought of fasting and how it connects to the microbiome, join me in my Reset Academy. This is what I'm teaching to my Academy members. The science is there. Now the job, your job, is the application of it. And if we can look at fasting as a solution for not only making changes in the gut, but helping people get off some of the medications that they're chronically on, like high blood pressure medication, if that is right for you, then we can start to see dramatic shifts in people's health. So really excited about this study. Let me know your experience with fasting and blood pressure. Let me know if this information blew your mind. And if you wanna go deeper with it, join me in my academy. Just put academy in the comments and my team will send you a link. As always, you're more powerful than you've been taught and studies like this hopefully reinforce that. Okay, if you love this video, you're gonna to wanna to check out the next video of my food series. I, on this video, wanna talk about the healthy foods that you might be eating that will stop you from a long and healthy life.